Notion or Obsidian, two of the most powerful tools for organizing your life, thoughts, and projects. But which one reigns supreme? Whether you're building your second brain, planning big projects, or simply staying on top of daily tasks, the question remains, which tool is the one you truly need? Today, I'm comparing them head-to-head -head in all important aspects to have you decide which one to use. Let's dive deep together and make sure to stick around till the very end because I'll be telling you exactly which one to use for your case and in what way. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. First off, to help you decide which tool is right for you and fully understand the differences, we need to explore the purpose behind each. What is each designed to do? Starting with Notion, Notion is an all-in-one workspace that integrates note-taking, task management, databases, and calendars in a visually organized platform. It's ideal for people who need to structure their tasks, projects, and notes in a highly customizable and user-friendly way. Obsidian, on the other hand, is a knowledge management tool focused on creating interconnected notes through backlinks. It's designed for deep interlinked thinking and serves as a personal knowledge base. In that light, let's look at the main features of each. Let's start with Notion. Notion's UI stands out for being intuitive and user-friendly. Its block-based structure lets you easily add text, images, to-do lists, and more, arranging them to suit your needs. The drag-and-drop interface makes it easy for beginners to get started, while more advanced features are available for users who want to dive deeper. Notion is a highly flexible tool that allows you to build nearly anything, from simple checklists and trackers to complex project management systems. The most powerful among these elements is the database. Databases are Notion's key to managing tasks, projects, or any type of data, really. You can create tables, boards, calendars, and galleries to display and manage your information in many ways. The multiple views and flexible organizational capability of Notion's databases is the feature I personally love most, and I use it to its full potential. Notion also excels in collaboration. Whether working on a team project or studying in a group, it supports real-time editing, comments, and flexible sharing permissions, making it a go-to tool for any shared workspace. In short, Notion is great for anyone looking to manage tasks, projects, or long-term goals with plenty of room for customization. On the other hand, as we said previously, Obsidian has its focus on a specified purpose, which is building a personal knowledge management system, also known as a second brain, by linking your notes and ideas. Its features therefore revolve around that purpose. For example, the standout graph view visualizes the relationships between notes, helping you see how everything fits together. The canvas feature provides a mind map style representation, perfect for brainstorming and visually connecting your thoughts. Unlike Notion, which is task-focused, Obsidian focuses on knowledge building and the gradual development of ideas. Obsidian excels at linking related notes through backlinks and bidirectional linking. In addition to linking, there are also tags, which I personally use besides linking, as well as simple basic folders. This creates a growing web of knowledge, perfect for refining ideas over time. Obsidian's minimalist text-focused UI is ideal for deep thinking and writing. Though it's less visually flexible than Notion, it offers a distraction-free space to focus on building your knowledge base. Again, Obsidian wasn't created to serve as an all-in-one workspace, but rather for knowledge management. So it's only natural that its UI was designed around that. Now that we've gone over the main uses and features of each, let's compare both of them in some side aspects. Firstly, speed and storage. Notion is a web-based app, which means it syncs real-time and is accessible from anywhere. However, that also means you're not in control of your data, since it's out there on the cloud after all. On the other hand, Obsidian stores files locally, giving you full control over your files and ensuring privacy. This makes it much, much, much more smooth and speedy when using it. However, for that same reason, it doesn't sync across devices and you'll need to set up a separate backup system for it, unless you buy their subscription, which offers just that. Secondly, plugins and integrations. Notion allows you to embed and link to external content like YouTube videos or Google documents, as well as tens of integrations in general. Obsidian also allows you to put in essentially anything you want in your notes, although it focuses more on the text element of notes, so you won't find as many integrations. In addition, Obsidian enjoys a privilege which Notion doesn't. Tons of third-party community plugins which serve essentially all kinds of purposes. 
Let's talk about customizability. In terms of customizability, Obsidian slays. Just like its array of community plugins, there are tons of killer community themes to suit almost anyone and everyone. And I personally love changing the theme every now and then to refresh the UI and try out a different experience. Unfortunately, Notion doesn't have that capability. And the most you can do is switch between light and dark modes. Let's talk a bit about AI integration. We're living in the era of AI, so we can't ignore the integration of AI into the software. Notion has AI natively integrated. This means it's part of the app itself, so it works in synergy with the app, providing the functionality you'd expect it to. Obsidian, on the other hand, doesn't have AI built in like Notion. However, this is where community plugins come into play. There are a lot of third-party AI plugins that, although aren't native and built into the app from the developers directly, will still get the job done. I personally use a great AI feature that shows you notes you've written in the past that are related to the one you're currently viewing or writing to help you connect and link your ideas better. Take into consideration, though, that in both software, the use of AI isn't free. So to sum all of this up, Notion was created to be an all-in-one workspace, a flexible platform that combines note-taking, task management, databases, calendars, and more. It's designed to help you organize everything in one place with a user-friendly interface. Here are some examples of cases for which I'd highly recommend Notion. On the other hand, Obsidian is a powerful knowledge management tool with a focus on linking your notes and creating a second brain. It's built around the concept of a personal knowledge base, allowing you to create connections between your ideas in various ways, creating a web of interconnected notes. Here are some examples of cases for which I'd highly recommend Obsidian. And this marks the end of this stuff comparison. I hope you now have a clearer view of the functionality of each app and are able to pick one or both, like in my case, I love the both of them, to use for yourself. Anyway, I thank you for watching my video. A like and a subscribe would be really appreciated, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.